add the power for it. You'll start feeling, make sure your feet come down. Let's go ahead and shove it all the way in. See down that nose. Once we get down there, we start pulling back, pulling back, and then just kind of hold it off right. A little extra speed, there it is. And we just make the turn off the uh, runway. Flat Earth Clues. As you can see, by properly using the coordinates on the military grid, the rendezvous point has been located efficiently, clearly, and precisely. And its relationship to the present position of the map readers has been accurately plotted. For example, this is how you determine the straight line ground distance between two points on the map. Lay a straight-edged piece of paper on the map so that its edge touches both points. Make a tick mark on the edge of the paper at each point. Then move the paper down to the appropriate graphic scale and read the ground distance between the two points. The graphic scale is divided into two sections. That to the right of the zero is called the primary scale and is marked with full units of measure. From this primary scale, we see that the straight line ground distance is more than 3,000 meters. How much more can be read to the left of the zero on what is called the extension scale? This is divided into tenths of a unit, and in this instance, shows the total distance to be 800 meters more than the 3,000 on the primary scale, or a total of 3,800 meters. 